Hello and welcome to another tutorial on data analysis on Excel. Today we are going to dive into hacking tools. Hacking tools in Excel typically refer to advanced techniques and features that can help you extract, manipulate, analyze, and visualize data more effectively. So today we are going to dive into some powerful and useful tools and functions in Excel that can significantly enhance your data handling capabilities. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, now let's talk about subtotal. Okay, let's talk about subtotal. Now, um, what subtotal does is that it helps you to calculate categories of information in different layouts, okay? Now, for example, uh, when you use some if, what it does is that it gives you the range of calculation of whatever categories of information you really want to calculate. But there's this magic about subtotal, okay? Like, for example, I have automotive, I have diversify, I have... So what it does is that it categorizes them and give you the total of the revenue country by country okay now first before we get to it the first thing is to do what we need to highlight it okay and then we have to go to sort and let's give it okay in ascending order okay that is settled now the next stage now is to go to data okay when you get your data you click on subtotal now we have it here now look at the dialog box now what this is telling us right now is that at each change in industry because that's the column we are working on that's industry okay now which function are we using do we need the sum of each of the industry in categories or we just need like our count our average maximum so you have to make your choice but right now i need the sum of each categories so i'm going to use my sum and then what else so our tax revenue country by country is checked because that is where the sum is going to be formalized okay so now we have to click on okay now I give it some seconds now this is it this is it so we have automotive okay and the total of what we have there is 9.6 so we have diversify okay and the total of diversify we have is what is 20 okay we have is 20.8 so when you scroll down you can see and when you want to collapse this you have to click on your one okay so what it does it gives you the general total of the tax revenue country by country so when you click on your two it gives you just okay the distincts of the industry okay so it shows you that the automotive total is 9.6 total is 20.8 but when you click on number three it breaks it down so now you have everything so this is how subtotal works it's a very cool hacking tools i use most of the time so you can just check it out let's talk about clipboard this is one of the hacking tools you can use because it stores information when you copy or you paste or you cut it's stored into clipboard so which means you have access to bring back those information so now to get to your clipboard you have to go to your home from your ribbon bar and then you click on this so it shows this so now as you can see i have a lot of information i've copied and pasted so first let me clear all this so now let me give you an instance okay now i click on copy i come over here again i click on copy i come over here copy so i'm selecting the information i want to copy so this helps a lot because i don't have to start pasting one after the other so all i have to do is to click on my code my cell and click on what paste all so what clip board does is that it gives you room to select some specific information you want to paste at once and the, it stores most of your copy and cut so you have it here you can go back check it and then paste it so these are some tools you can use to make some magic while you are working so clipboard is very very important so it's one of the tools i love using especially when i have so many big numbers and then long numbers so all i have to do is just to select 
the ones I need and then open my clipboard then paste it. So it's faster than you pasting one after the other. So that is clipboard. Now let's talk about hiding your sheets. Okay? Hiding your spreadsheets. How do you do that? How can you hide your job? How can you hide your spreadsheet? How can you hide your record? All this, how can you do that in Excel? We have various ways you can hide your spreadsheet. Uh, for example, I have sheet one. Then I have this called the Bologna Statistic Dataset. So let's assume I want to hide this Bologna Statistic Dataset. So how do you hide it? Among all the options we have, I'm going to show you one of the best that won't be obvious. You don't need to hide it. You just have to do what? To keep it up the page. So now, let's get to it. So first, you have to go to your develop, developer. Now, this is your developer. The next thing you have to do is to go to where we call your virtual basic. Okay? Now, when you get here, you have two options. You have your project and you have your property. So first, you have to select the sheet you want to hide. So I'm hiding the Bologna statistic data set. Fine. Now I have to go to my visibility. That's where the property is. Now I have to choose what we call very sheet, very hidden. Okay. So this is it. That's the third one. So just click on it and that's all. So the next thing I have to do is to click on what? Close. Done. As you can see, it's not here. The only information you can see here is sheet one. So, in a situation where you have like 10 sheets, okay, and you needed to hide some for security reason or there are some information you felt is not for public domain. So, this is the best way to do that. So, there is no way you can get information from here and there is no way you can know that something is hidden. So, but when you want to retrieve it back, you have to pass through the same process. So, just go to a virtual basic. You have to click on your billionaire, okay? Then you come back here, and then you click on what? Visible, and that's all. So now you have it here. So this is how it works. So this is a very cool tool you can use to hide your sheet, as many as you want. Okay, now let's talk about go to sell. Okay, go to sell is the fastest way to get a roll or to find a column. Fastest way. So we have other ways and options. You can get your columns, get your rows, locate each and every one of your values. You have, we have different ways, but one of the fastest way is go to sell. Okay, let me scroll down. Let's assume that I need B33, okay? Which is this, my B33. Now, the best way to get this instead of scrolling up and down is to type it from where? From the name box, okay? All I have to do is to type what? Okay, let me type B23 um, and enter. So, it takes me there direct. So, there are some situations where you have like almost thousands of columns and rows. So you use your go to sell to indicate or search for columns and rows. Okay, um, let's search for B33. All I have to do is to go here and do what? Type it B33 and enter. It takes me there. So this is one of the cool tools I use majorly when I have, you know, like a large data set. Um, a large data set you know, with a lot of rows, okay? When I'm searching for a specific column, I use my go to sell, okay? Now let's search for B20 or B1, okay? Instead of scrolling up, just type it B1 and then enter. It takes you there. So this is how it works. Okay, now let's talk about pattern fill, okay? Now, what we use pattern fill for, you know, is to, you know, automatic, is to automate your numbers, okay? We use it to automate your numbers, like, for example, I have one here, so I can drag it down, okay? I can drag it down, so it shows me 
one 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 okay for example let me use my right click to drag it down 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 and leave it okay now the question is what do i want to fill okay um i want to fill it with series now you see that so it shows my one two three four five six seven eight so this is faster than just typing it now let's go to this we have our month date and year now if i'm to show all the year or in accordance so all i have to do is just to right click then drag okay now it gives me an options that what exactly do i want to show so i want the cell to display years okay now i have 2022 so i need 2023 2024 i need years okay so now all i have to do is to click on fill years now did you see that so i have 2022 so this is the fastest way when you have a column and you need to put years of numbers of years so you don't have to type it one after the other so this is one of the hacking tools you can use okay now let's talk about group data okay now group data we use group data to work on large spreadsheets and um, you need to collapse columns so you can have space to work with um, some other columns in summary we use group data to collapse or hide some columns so we can have access to some others column okay so group data is one of the hacking magic tools in excel that if you use it right you can get a kind of cool results okay so now what we need to do right now we have this database spreadsheet here and then as you can see this has already taken up the whole space okay we don't have any other space to work like is so much so what we need to do right now is to collapse some of this information so now that is where group data comes in so the first thing to do is to highlight the columns we want to collapse so i'm going to highlight from my i column to m and then click on my data from my ribbon table then click on group okay so what this does right now as you can see it collapses the column so now the column is no longer here but if you want to check it out you have to click on this button and it expand it again so group data is a very cool tool you can use as much as you want and then okay you can collapse as much as you want to collapse okay for example let me collapse from column 0 to r and then okay let's group it you see that so i can just collapse this okay and collapse this now i have enough space to work or to type some other information so we have this sign here you can click on it it enable the information and you can click on the other one too it enable the other information too so lastly let me collapse towards the end let me collapse like my t to my okay yep this is okay now let me collapse it perfect so now as you can see that's it so all these files information i've already collapsed them but i have a button on top that can enable and show all the information from each of the columns so and there's another button here we have um, when you click on it what it does is that it shows you all the information you collapse okay so when you click on it it shows everything at once but you can collapse it one after the other one after the other then one after the other so collapse is one of those hacking tools you can use when you have a kind of a spreadsheet that contains so much information and then you need to create space so it can work 
So when you are done, you can enable it. So that's how Collapse works. Please kindly subscribe, like and share for more videos. Thank you.